You may know this man. You should probably know him. There was a movie made about him. It was called The Social Network, and this is Mark Zuckerberg, and he is garnering his first nomination for Political Maniacs this week as his new political group is spending big on ads supporting Keystone XL and oil drilling. Mark Zuckerberg's new political group, which bills itself as a bipartisan entity dedicated to passing immigration reform, has spent a considerable amount of resources on ads advocating a host of anti-environmental causes, including drilling in the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge and constructing the Keystone XR XL Tar Sands Pipeline. This umbrella group, which is founded by a bunch of big Silicon Valley names, Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg, Na- Nation Builders co-founder Joe Green, LinkedIn's Reid Hoffman, Dropbox's Drew Houston, and other tech giants. It's called forward.us, it's spelled fwd.us, and their initial priority was the passage of a comprehensive immigration reform bill, which I am totally in support of. I think that that is a great and noble cause, and it's good to see you know tech giants doing something to give back. But with that being said, what has come out recently is that Forward.us is bankrolling two subsidy organizations to purchase TV ads to advance a much, much different agenda. One is supporting Senator Lindsey Graham, who's a Republican, um, and praises him for supporting construction of the Keystone XL pipeline and expanding expanded drilling elsewhere. The ad, which of course does not even mention immigration, also attacks Obamacare, wasteful stimulus spending, and seedy Chicago-style politics. This was a seven-figure buy. And another ad lauds Senator Mark Bijik, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, who is from Arkansas, who's working to open up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to drilling, which is another seven-figure ad buy. Richard, what do you think about this? Something doesn't seem right here. I'm trying to figure out Mark Bagick. I don't even know who that is. Mark Bagick. Bagick? B-E-G-I-C-H? B-E-G-I-C. Yeah, that's Mark Begich from the state Begich. of Alaska. Oh. Alaska. That makes more sense. I was like, Mark Bagich? Who the <laughs> hell is that? It's a new it's... senator. You don't even know about him yet. It's Mark Begich, the Democrat from Alaska, former mayor of Anchorage. There you go. Bam. Which would make more sense talking about drilling in the wildlife. Drilling in the Anwar and killing the caribou. Mm Mm-hmm. So, Richard, your thoughts. It seems shadowy, shady. What do you think? It's not immigration. No, it's not immigration. It's shady. It's wrong. It's why we should have... We shouldn't have rich people running our politics. or just as bad as Sheldon Adelson. Um, While we do need a bipartisan approach to immigration reform... We need a bipartisanship-like approach to killing the Keystone Pipeline as well. Absolutely. And it's, it's funny, Mark Zuckerberg has actually, in previous speeches, come out saying that he wants to build a knowledge economy, and he added that there are so many oil fields and only so much wealth that can be created from them for society. That's why we need tar sands, because it's not oil fields, it's like an oil mountain. <laughs> they burned the sand. So you think that was like a secret message that he was trying to say? He's like, there's only so many oil fields, so let's try to find some more? I guess. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know Mark Zuckerberg. Um, you know, I think that it's interesting that Mark Zuckerberg is part of this because he, you know, happens to be a White House influencer. Um, and that him and the president are very close. He worked on the camp, the first campaign of the mm-hmm. president. So, I mean, does it, will this really have any any influence? And I would be interested to see, and like I said, I don't know, what, I never know what the maniacs are, so I can't really speak to this, what these ads look like um, and who are... You can the- actually see them online if you go to Think Progress. Um, the story is called Mark Zuckerberg's New Political Group Spending Big on Ads Supporting Keystone XL and Oil Drilling. And we have both of the ads listed on that website. If you're watching this on YouTube, the links will be at the bottom of the page. That's good to know. I haven't seen the ads yet. I have to check them out and see who the front group is. Um, and where the front group is located and, you know, who's connected with the front group to see is this really some sort of type of, you know, political, you know, corporate spending conspiracy or is it just they made a bad, they made a bad fundraising decision or could it be that they're, they're trying to support Lindsey Graham in his reelection thinking that, I mean, there's a lot of political ramifications to it. You just can't see this on face value. Yeah. Like I say, I don't agree with the Keystone Pipeline, but there, there, there's a side motivation. There's a, Excuse me, there's a deeper motivation to this than I think it scratched the surface. 